at doing what he does, as long as he doesn't move. But life is more than just catching food. You have to worry about being caught as food. His worst enemy is the spotted cat in South America. Anybody know the name of that cat in South America? Big spotted cat in South America, yes? No, leopards are Africa and Asia. Yes? Jaguar. Yes, the Jaguar. Not the British car, the South American cat. Jaguar. The Jaguar loves water. Most cats hate water, Jaguars love water. They go into the water, stamp, 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 and they start feeling around. And the Jaguar strategy is very simple. If I touch a rock, rocks don't run away. If I touch a turtle, it'll run away. So the Jaguar walks around touching rocks, and he waits for the one that tries to run away. That's not a rock, that's a turtle. Then he takes the turtle, throws it up on land. Turtles sometimes can swim pretty quickly, but they don't walk fast ever. Once he gets it up on land, he walks up to it. Now what does a turtle do when it's in trouble? Hide the shell! Jaguar doesn't care. Jaguar picks up the turtle with his big, heavy, Jaguar has huge muscles, enormous jaw muscles, takes the turtle like a Subway sandwich and goes right through the shell, eats it like a Subway sandwich, and the Italian bread does not protect the bologna. The Mata Mata can't do what the other turtles can do. He can't hide the shell. His head is so big, it doesn't fit. But he never gets there, because when the jaguar touches the shell of the matamata, what's the matamata do? Nothing. Nothing, exactly. And the jaguar goes, that's a log. I don't eat logs. Let's go look for turtles. If he moves, he's lunch. If he moves, he doesn't get lunch. Sometimes it floods, and the water gets too deep, and he has to move. He might have to go up on land to do that. If he has to move, everyone can see that's a turtle. Then he has all sorts of enemies. If he has to swim, well, fish aren't gonna go near a swimming turtle, so he's not gonna get any food while he's swimming around. And if the jaguar sees him swimming, the jaguar will dive in after him. So as long as he stays still, he's safe. Once he moves, all sorts of problems. Good pet, right? No. No! What does he do all day? Nothing. Nothing! <laughs> and what do you have to feed him? Fish. Fish. Live little fish. Fish that'll cost you 20 cents a piece at the pet store. And he said, oh, 20 cents a piece. He eats $50 a week worth of it. Yeah, he costs more to feed than your children do. Not a good pet at all. Question? Yes? Then how do you feed him? I pay to feed him. Yeah, this is what I do. Yes? Um, don't his um, claws ever scratch you? Yes, actually he scratches her. Oh. Yes, he does sometimes scratch me. I usually hurt and scratch him. Yes, yes. makes you tough, makes you tough. Yes. Yes? Uh, no? What are the paper towels for, Becky? Diaper. So he doesn't? He. On. You. You! <laughs> he ain't gonna pee on him. <laughs> yes. How did I get it? Okay. It's a long story, I'm gonna make it short. Sometimes I get animals from people who don't want them anymore. They call me on the phone, they say, Bill, please take my son's lizard before I kill them both. <laughs> and I say, okay. Sometimes I can say okay. Sometimes I can't say okay. Sometimes I get calls from people who say, there's a snake in my yard. It's not mine. Will you take it? Those answers are always yes, because what are you going to do? It's a snake in your yard. If you find a python in your yard, that's a problem. But sometimes what I do is I go to a reptile show in Pennsylvania, and they sell animals. That's what they do. All sorts of people selling reptiles. And I walk around and I look for the disgusting animals. I look for the animals that look like they're about this far away from being dead. And I go to those people and I say, okay, so you want money for this animal? It's going to die. Here are the five reasons why it's going to die, why I know it's going to die. So let me give you a little bit of money, and you give me the animal, 
and you make a little bit of money, and maybe I can rescue the animal and save its life. Maybe. And that's what happened to him. I went to the show, he was there, he was gray. Okay, instead of being brown and healthy, he was gray. I don't even, I can't even show you a gray. Almost, almost this color, a little grayer than this, okay? Ridiculously sick. Ridiculously thin. He was so thin, you could stick your finger up under his shell, you couldn't even reach the end. Because all his organs had shrunk. And I said, you're feeding him wrong, you're keeping him wrong, he's this far from being dead. The guy wanted $600 with the turtle. I said, I'll give you 60. And I'm pushing my luck giving you 60 because I'm not sure it's gonna live to the ride home. And because I was able to tell him so much about the turtle, he gave me the turtle for 60 bucks. And I took it home and it lived. Sometimes I put money out, I take it home, and it doesn't live, there's too much damage and dead. But that's sometimes what I do. I try and rescue the animals that I know no one's going to ever buy this animal. I know it's never going to make it. And the people who are selling them, they don't have the experience, they don't have the knowledge, or they don't want to be bothered with the money to take care of the animal well. Okay, so long story, try to make it shorter. One more question? Yes. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? His name is Siphon. You know what a siphon is? Oh, Okay, do you ever see, I mean, maybe on TV, Guy puts a hose in a gas tank and he goes, okay, and he gets a mouthful of gasoline. Yeah. That, what you're doing is you're siphoning, okay? You're sucking water in, vacuuming the water. That's what he does. He opens his mouth, creates a vacuum, and that pulls the fish in. A siphon. Okay? Okay, so that.